Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I'm taking a look at Android M, which is the newest version of Google's mobile operating system that they actually just unveiled at Google I.O. 2015. So as with 2014's Android L preview, which eventually became Android 5.0 Lollipop, Google hasn't yet granted Android M its delicious dessert name or a version number. Those details will likely come later this year when M makes its general debut on devices, but for now this is a developer-only affair. With that said, we do know a lot of the updates that will be coming in Android M, so in this video I'm just going to be going over what's new. One of the coolest new features in Android M is the new context-sensitive Google Now that can understand the email you're reading, note the song you're playing, and the dry cleaner you're using, and then surface useful information about these things. Google's calling this new feature Now on Tap, and it actually has a number of different useful applications. One example of how this could work is it might show the location of a gas station when you're driving back to the car rental lot before your flight. Google already knows all the things from the reservations you've made and the location of your phone, but now it's really putting this information to a useful purpose. Another example could be if you're listening to a song, and then you ask, OK Google, where's she from, without even having to name the exact artist you're wondering about. Now, Android M is also spotlighting Android Pay, which is a new mobile payment system that Google talked about during MWC 2015. This new platform lets third-party apps process payments both within the app, like with in-app purchases, but then also in retail stores using NFC. If your phone is a fingerprint reader, you can also authorize payments using your print, as you can with iOS. Now, it is also worth noting that Samsung has its own separate payment system called Samsung Pay, which works exclusively for their devices, but Android Pay is basically designed to standardize the Android payment system across all other devices running Google's mobile OS. Now, one more big thing coming with Android M is the new charging abilities that are coming with the operating system. In the future, Google's mobile devices are all going to support the new USB Type-C standard of charging cable, and that means that all of their devices can be charged or also charge other devices. Better yet, this connection is the same shape on both sides, meaning you won't have to grapple with which one is up. Not only does Android M support this new charging standard, but it also introduces some new features that'll keep your device up and running for longer. For one thing, Android M has a new feature called Doze Mode, which is basically an energy saving feature that Google says will use less power than the current standby mode does. Basically, if you walk away from your device for a lengthy period of time, it hibernates to save on battery. You'll still hear important alarms and incoming messages, but with as little as half the power consumption as before. This feature is a little bit similar to some of the battery saving modes that we've already seen on Android powered devices, but this actually launches automatically and then it also seems like it'll work very fluidly, even a little bit more fluidly than before. Anyways though, there are a lot more minor improvements coming in Android M that should make this a much better operating system overall. As I said at the beginning of this video though, we still don't know the exact release date for this OS, and then we also don't know whether it's going to be called Android 5.2 or Android 6.0. In addition, Google hasn't unveiled the new Sweets name themes that will be going with it, like for instance Android L became Android Lollipop only in October of 2014. This could really be called anything from Marshmallow, to Muffin, to Marzipan, or even like a branded name like M&M's. Google will be unveiling more details about their mobile operating system in the future, and I'll be sure to cover any new updates they provide on this channel. But give me your opinions about Android M in the comments below. Let me know if you think it looks like a really cool upgrade, or if you're a little bit underimpressed by what Google's delivering. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.